Okay. Woo -hoo, party time. <laughs> Serena here from SincerelySerena.com. I'm a crafty mama that loves to teach, create, and inspire others to be their best selves. And today's video, I'm sharing with you Zoom. Ba -ba -ba -ba. If you are watching this video, you are probably an out school teacher and you are probably clueless on Zoom. Like I was clueless. Had no idea how to use it. And I am so happy that I took the time before my first life class to figure those things out because it became very helpful. So today's video, we are going to hop on over to my computer and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that you can use to be an effective teacher on OutSchool. I'm going to teach you how to spotlight your video, how to turn your chime on and turn your video around as well as turn on a filter to make you look good. And also, before we jump over to my computer, I suggest getting with a friend and practice your Zoom skills on them. <laughs> yeah, get on Zoom and practice your first live class so you know what you look like on Zoom and if everything is working properly because you do not want to get in front of new students and kind of flub on the technology. Let's go on, head on over to my computer and I will show you how to work Zoom. Okay guys, so welcome to my, my laptop. So if you are new to Zoom and you haven't messed with any of your settings, you will want to go to your Zoom and just open it up. Don't start a new meeting or anything and I will show you how to set, do your settings. So on the right hand side, the upper right hand side, you'll have a picture if you have a picture or it will have your name. So right underneath it is the, the little cog. So you wanna press that. So up in the general, it'll just kind of give you some general things. Um, you can click on this show my meeting duration um, if you want to kind of keep track of your time while you're in your Zoom class. So the major thing you want to look at is this video, this video feed. So click on feed hello, click on the video, um, and then this will show you. I'm pretty sure um, Zoom automatically clicks the mirror my video. So if you are reading a book to, to your class, if you're reading and that kind of throws you off, you can unclick mirror my video. Zoom does have a minor touch up my appearance and a minor filter, so look. So I look a little rough, but when I press touch up, it kind of it kind of makes me a little more smooth. And then you, um, I always click always display participants name in their video, so when I can call my students, I know their name. Um, and another big one is spotlight my video when speaking. Um, this is not automatically checked, so you will want to check that. So what spotlight is, is when you speak, um, it will spotlight or it'll bring your video feed up to your students instead of it bouncing around. Okay, so another one is if you wanna check your, your speaker and your mic, you can on here. So if you guys wanted to use a virtual background, you can. I'm not sure how you upload. I think you can upload another picture and use that as your virtual background. You do not need a green screen, but as you can see, a green screen can help. So I think that's kind of cool. I personally do not use virtual backgrounds. Okay. And then here is where you would add a picture if you wanted to add a picture to yourself. The next thing I want to show you are the keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to kind of memorize these little keyboard shortcuts, um, you can so you don't have to go searching for when you are in your meeting. So that's it for the settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to start a new meeting to show you. So here is what your Zoom meeting will look like when you first get in and you can go in and adjust everything if you want to. This is how I adjust mine. Um, and for those that you guys want to know, I am on a MacBook Pro, so um, my screen could look different from your screen if you have a different setup. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you log into your classroom is go to your view and show and manage participants, and then that, that window will pop up. So what you want to do is you want to go to more and click on the play, enter, and exit chime. That will tell you when a student shows up and they're hanging out in the waiting room waiting for you to permit them. Okay, so before we do anything, we will go to this left-hand corner and see, click on meeting and press invite. 
and you're going to copy your invitation. So it is helpful to copy your invitation and post it in your classroom, um, just in case you have students that can't find the link or if they're on a tablet and the tablet, the classroom link is not there, it will help them join your meeting manually. So I just usually um, copy and paste it to a new post in the classroom and I press send. Um, so that's that. Let's go back. Okay, some other things in the participation, the participants box. Um, I always also open the chat box. So I will press show chat and just push that over. So let's talk about the participants. While you're here, you can look at the participants. You can press more and you can mute the participants upon entry. I choose not to do that because if they come into the meeting muted, they have to uh, man manually unmute themselves to talk to you. So I just choose not to mute everyone and just mute them when, when and if I need it. The chat, you can press the this button right here. Um, and then you can pick who the chats will go to. I choose for it to only go to the host. That way um, the students aren't talking back and forth if there is conflict within the, the students. Um, and of course that is your own preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like when a student shows up. And before you do, before you go into class, I suggest getting a piece of paper or a pad to write down your students' names. So that way you can place a check mark as they come into your classroom. That is also a good tool to use to also press checks when you call on a student and to keep track of their participation. So you know that one student is not getting left out or if one student is kind of um, taking over the class. Okay, so you hear that bell? Um, that means a student has come in. So you can see the student's name. Um, and then what you can do, all right, so you can message everyone in the waiting room. If their name does not match your roster, you can ask them to change their name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and admit myself. And then they will show up here. So if your student does not have their video on, you can go over to their name and press chat and then you can ask them kindly. The student really only have to turn turn on their video feed for a moment and then they can turn it off. That is just for safety reasons, so you know who they are and you're not having a stranger come into your, to your Zoom meeting. And of course, if they don't, if they don't turn on their video, you have every right to put them in the waiting room. Um, and then once they're in the waiting room, you can go in it and then you can message them again. And if they can just hang out there until they turn it on or change their name. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and admit her or admit my phone. Okay, so she's on here. And if there is a problem, if there's any problem, um, behavior problem or inappropriateness, you can, instead of putting them in the waiting room, you can go ahead and remove them from the meeting. Um, but they have a chat you can ask them instead of typing it you can ask them to, to turn on their video feed okay so we'll just have that hang out i'm going to show you um so back into your participants box you can mute all and this and you can check it to allow them to mute them this is where you would mute and unmute you can also go over to each individual student and unmute them um, but if they have their, if, if they have theirs unmuted, sometimes you can't unmute it. You'll have to ask them to unmute them. You could also rename them as well, report and all that fun stuff. I am going to show you now the share screen mode, um, in case you're, you're wanting to share your screen. So you'll want to, to click share screen, pick the window that you want to show your your students. In this case, I have my 4th of July page up and then it'll tell me to go to my 4th of July presentation to start the screen. Okay, so here is my presentation, which by the way, I'm doing this off of Canva, which Canva is awesome and I will be doing a video about Canva soon. Um, so, but I wanted to show you a couple of things on here. So when you are in share screen mode, 
your if you had clicked the spotlight video while you were talking during your presentation, your video will show up in their um, in their upper right hand corner wherever they have their gallery view. Um, but all of this will be their main their main view. So if for some reason when you share your screen and all of this goes away, you can go back to by hovering. So by hovering right here and press participants and then go over here to more and press chat and those will all pop back up. Okay, so here are some things for, for your mode, your share screen mode. You can annotate, that means you can draw on your screen. You just press this little button right here and then all your options will come up. It'll automatically default to blue. So you can change the thickness and all of that right now. Um, so if you want to draw on your screen, I suggest going into your own Zoom account and practicing these options. Um, but another important feature is to not have the students draw on your screen while you're trying to present. So you can go to the more and go down to disable attendee annotation. And then that way it locks the students from trying to, to scribble on your screen. Um, so if this is your first time going into Zoom and you want to share an audio clip, from your presentation or from YouTube or whatever, you are going to want to go to more and go down to share computer sound. Um, and if this is your first time sharing your computer sound, it'll prompt you to download something. So I would, um, before you start your class for your first time, if you're wanting to use this feature, I would um, mess around with this before you do that. So you guys, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Um, yeah, my major advice, if you are new to teaching on Zoom, get on your private Zoom account and just mess with all the features. You don't have to set up a private class within the OutSchool system. You can just do it on yourself, um, on your own personal account because it's just the same. I would also um, meet up with a friend, either a fellow teacher or a family member to try to practice um, hitting, you know, activating your chime, allowing students to hang out in the wait room, um, asking students to turn on their feed, just so on your very first class or even your first couple of classes, you're not fumbling. So I hope this video and this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.